Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm making a video that I haven't seen quite done yet. Is yapper.so legit? I don't know about you, but it feels like every other Instagram reel that I've been getting that's AI content. There's like a comment that's like pinned at the top of the reel or in the description. Every other AI creator in their bio has like this link in their bio telling you to go make the AI videos there. If you're like me and you kind of know how these videos are made, you can kind of just get like a Veo subscription, They're like Halo, at this point Sora. Sora is really killing the game. And there's some, you know, that you can just go buy subscriptions from the AI company. So why would we go to like a website like Yapper? A couple weeks ago, Curiosity did indeed kill the cat. And I went ahead and actually purchased Yapper. So today I'm going to give you an honest review and uh, go over it. I am not sponsored. I don't have any sort of affiliate link. I'm not telling you to buy this. Uh, I'm simply making this video to showcase the website. Make up your decision at the end of this video. Uh, I'm not telling you to buy it. And all right, here we are. The reason why you're watching this video in the first place is Yapper worth your money. So we're just going to cover pricing right away. And you have three options here. You can go starter, personal, and creator. The first burning thing you can see right away here is if you pay for starter, you don't get access to Veo3. And as an AI content creator myself, Veo3 is my bread and butter. So if you want to make pretty good AI videos, you probably aren't going to want to pay for the starter subscription. But if you did, you have access to advanced deep fakes. We'll cover that in a little bit here. And you can do image to avatar, which is a very cool tool. We will also cover that. But what you really want is probably going to be the personal plan or creator plan. It is doubled in price from personal to creator. So that is a pretty big difference. And $50 a month is quite a bit of money. <laughs> but with a personal plan, you get access to pretty much everything. The only differentiation here is uh, credits. So you get 3000 credits here and you get 7000 credits in the other one. So all in all here, it looks like you've got $10 a month, 25 and $50 a month. So it looks like they got three options here, which is nice to see. I will leave that up to you. Before we move on, I do want to mention real quick, Google Veo 3, if you want full access to that without watermarks, it is $250 a month. <laughs> that is a lot of money. Granted, you could dip your feet in the water with their $20 a month subscription, uh, but then you only have a Veo 3. Yapper has more than just Veo 3. We'll cover that in a second. So I just thought that was worth mentioning. All right, let me stop yapping. All right, you see what I did there? <laughs> and all right, so let's just jump right into it. So we'll go ahead and start here with the AI video generation. That's probably why you're watching this. Basically, if you go ahead and tap here, you can see that they've got two options here. You can either do an actor scene where you can use a pre-selected character and that character will do just about anything you possibly want it to, or you can do something custom. So let's just run through the actor scene real quick. And as you can see here, it is set up very nicely. Uh, we can go ahead and select an actor from Bigfoot to Moses to a stormtrooper to a British soldier um, or a well-dressed reporter, I guess. <laughs> but you could also do custom characters. You could make your own character. And if you make your own character, you can consistently use that character in whatever video it may be. So that's a really cool feature. And then scene options, you can choose the perspective. So is it going to be like a selfie camera? Is it going to be like an aerial drone shot uh, or a cinematic shot? Is it going to look really high quality? Um, and then the video style, is it realistic, anime, cartoon, comic, uh, cyberpunk, watercolor, all that good stuff. Uh, you can choose all of it. So you can, it, it, it's laying out the framework for your prompt here. So you don't have to like, uh, give it all the details as if you were like using flow or something, you know, like when you use flow and like, you got to give it all the details, you got to have a very specific prompt. It presents all the necessary questions and uh, it's just very well put together. Basically what this is, it's dummy proof. So if you've never used AI before, this is probably the best way for you to start. For the good majority of you here, you're probably going to want to use the custom prompting because that's where the magic really happens. So as you can see here, it's pretty open-ended. You can go ahead and prompt your video. So we'll go ahead and do a random prompt for video purposes here. Uh, a news reporter tells us, about a banana shortage at Walmart. <laughs> Pretty weird. So if we had a still frame that we had already created that we want to use, so say we have a news reporter that we specifically want to use, uh, we could go ahead and give our still frame here and then it would make the video from that still frame. Very cool to see that here. And then we'll go ahead and go on to the next step and finalize our options. As you can see, Yapper actually offers Sora 2, Veo 3, and then if you press on the specialist models, you can see they not only have Veo, they have Halo, they have Kling, and they have Sora. Just recently, as of a couple days ago, I've been using Sora so much. Sora is probably the best video model out right now, and it is absolutely insane. And Yapper does have that, and it's worth mentioning as someone who got an invite code very early on in Sora, Yes, an invite code. As of me recording this video, you need an invite code to use Sora. So it is worth mentioning, you do not need an invite code to use Sora on Yapper. So if you want access to Sora and you couldn't get an invite code, 
Yapper has it. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and move forward. We'll use Sora 2. Uh, we will select two outputs down here. So let's go ahead and generate the video. And just a couple of minutes later, we get our video. I went ahead and downloaded it. Let's go ahead and watch it before we move on. Good evening. If you stop by this Walmart in South Hills today looking for bananas, you probably left disappointed. Managers tell us their usual shipment, about 40 cases, came in at less than half. Okay, so obviously Sora is pretty damn scary. That looks pretty real if you ask me. So like I said, you got some pretty cool options when it comes to choosing what kind of video you want to make because there's several different video models. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the deep faking. The biggest thing about Yapper and what I personally use it the most for is how seamless they've made deep faking. And as you can see here, they've got lots of politics. They've got all types of people you can choose from here. So let's just say that we're making a Trump video. So basically you can just write whatever you want Trump to say. Is Yapper legit folks? We will find out. That doesn't really sound like something Trump would say. That is where Yapper has a pretty cool tool. You can click on edit script with AI and then this will pop up. So uh, I'm going to say, make it sound like Trump said it. And their little prompt assistant here will change it to make it sound like Trump said it. This is probably a little longer than what I would do, but it went all out. So we can just select whatever we want. As you can see, folks, we're talking about yapping today. Okay. Yapping. Some people say I'm the best yapper man ever. You, you get the point. We'll just have them say these first couple sentences here. So we'll click close and apply and then generate audio. And this is great because you can get an idea of what your video is going to sound like before it even generates or charges you any credits. So as you can see here, it generated his voice. I had to throw the headphones on for this one. Folks, we're talking about yapping today okay yapping some people say i'm the best yapper maybe ever tremendous yapping skills believe me <laughs> that sounds a lot like trump if you ask me so then we'll just go ahead and click lip sync video and then you can do sync max or sync pro max will probably end up looking better it usually takes about eight to ten minutes my personal experience so you just click i agree to terms and conditions and generate video it is also worth mentioning when you're deep faking, you do not have to use their material. You can just go over to my assets and then just go ahead and press on upload media and you can actually upload an image and this can be used for a deep fake. So basically instead of using a video to deep fake off of, you can get like a still frame of like Joe Biden, I guess uh, you can have him talk from that picture. So you could do a picture or you can upload a video it is worth noting. If you upload a video instead of a picture, you can actually just upload a YouTube video. And when you upload a YouTube video, you can select a certain portion of that video that you would like to deep fake off of, which is huge because then you don't actually have to download the video and then upload it. This is very cool. I like this feature a lot. Before we move on, uh, my deep fake video is actually ready to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Folks, we're talking about yapping today. Okay. Yapping. Some people say I'm the best yapper, maybe ever. Tremendous yapping skills. Believe me. <laughs> Pretty cool. So now that we've covered the Veo videos, the deep faking, the image to avatar. I think it is worth mentioning they have a generate audio feature. So if you have a project that you're working on outside of Yapper, perhaps, and then you just want someone's voice deep fake to add on top of a video, uh, you can do that here as well. So kind of like 11 labs here, you can just use generic voices. Not only can you do the generic voices, you can also do celebrities. So as you can see, all of their deep faked voices or any voices that you have uploaded, you can do that as well. So if you don't want a video and you just want voice, you can do that here. It's also worth noting you can create a voice here as well and again there's a script assistant here so if you need some help it'll do it for you you can also create images which i think is very cool so we'll just go ahead and create an image here oh i don't know <laughs> let's just say a turtle crossing the road I don't know why it's using a sea turtle. I probably should have specified, <laughs> but it has Flux Max, Nano Banana, and Imagine 4. So if you give it a prompt for an image, it will give it to you from three different models. If you want a specific one, you can just choose through that one, but it'll let you do it through three different models. And of course, with these images, you can use them as a still frame for a video, or you could upscale it, or you could edit a specific part of the image. You can do it all within the website. By now, you might be starting to understand the whole point of this website. It's an all-in-one tool. So we've already covered that you can create videos, you can generate images, you can generate audio. But if that wasn't enough, they also have a timeline editor. So if you've been editing videos using CapCut or whatever editing software you have been using, you really don't have to leave the Yapper website. As you can see here, you can upload media. So I'll go ahead and upload that video that we just made earlier. Yeah, you can go ahead and trim it. You can change it. The great thing here is you can also press extend last clip. So you can actually take this clip and then extend it. You can generate a completely new video that piggybacks off of the last still frame on that video, or you can make a new video, or you can choose another video to add on top of it. Very cool. And of course they've got an image editor, which is really cool if you have a business or a product you're trying to sell because you can actually just place your product in an image. So like say you provided an image here, so like a source image, and then you can also just put the product that you want, you upload it here and it can combine the two. But if you're looking at it from like a content creation standpoint, 
standpoint, I suppose you could do like a Bigfoot. And then like if there's a specific Nike t-shirt you want him to be wearing, you could put it here and then it will combine it. And if that all wasn't enough for you, by far, I think the coolest feature they have on this website is the prompt extractor. So if you ever see an Instagram reel or a TikTok video where you're like, that's really impressive or that's really cool or like, I wonder what they typed to get that video. Yapper has a really cool tool where you could just upload the video here and literally just steal the prompt and then you could build off of it. I'm not encouraging you to steal other people's videos. I find it quite frustrating when people do do that, but you totally could. <laughs> so let's go find an Instagram reel real quick. Okay, so I found our video that we're gonna steal from. The reel happens to be a video of a very morbidly obese person on a bumper car. So we'll just go ahead and have Yapper guess the prompt. So literally just press guess prompt. And a couple seconds later, here we are. It gives you an extremely long prompt and then it gives you a little warning here. So in this case, the person's body size is very uh, exaggerated. And so I've learned that with like Veo sometimes, you can't call someone fat, which <laughs> why? You know, you just have to be a little choosy with your words, I suppose. But yeah, you can literally just take this prompt and then press use prompt. Someone that has a pretty good eye for AI videos, I know right away, this is not a Veo video. This is definitely a Halo or a Kling video. Uh, Veo videos don't quite look like this, but you could still you know, have Veo try, press use prompt, and it will literally just take the prompt from here, change what you want. So let's say instead of a fat person, we want like a, a giraffe, I don't know, something wacky, right? We'll have a giraffe sitting in the bumper cart. And uh, so we'll go ahead and change it and say like, oh, it's a giraffe, he's wearing clothes, has a helmet on, whatever. And then we can go ahead and finalize the options go to like the specialist models. And like I said, I happen to know it's a Halo video, so I would go ahead and select Halo, but you can always try with Veo because Veo is a little cheaper and then it will just generate the video. Okay, so let's recap here. The main reason why I'm currently paying for it and I'm continuing to pay for it is it's an all-in-one tool. I was able to cancel my subscriptions. I don't pay for open art anymore. I don't pay for Halo anymore. I don't think I had a Kling for subscription very long, but I certainly won't resubscribe to Kling. Uh, it has all the video models that I typically use. And it's not like I necessarily have to be paying for ChatGPT either because it has a prompt assistant in there. They really thought of everything. Literally, you can make an image, you can make a video with that image, and then you can change the voice with a deep fake, and then you can edit the video in the website. And if that wasn't enough, if you didn't have an idea for the video, you can steal it from Instagram or TikTok using the website. That's pretty fucking cool. And the fact that you can get access to all of that in theory for $25 is pretty insane. Because let's go back to what I said at the beginning of the video, Veo alone, if you want a good Veo subscription, it's $250 a month. Sure, it's $125 for the first three months. But I mean, if this is a long-term thing for you and you're a content creator, this is the best bang for your buck. And especially if you're wanting to get into content creation, this is for you. Or if you aren't a content creator at all, you want access to all these tools for a relatively cheap cost, this is your way out. Or if you have a business and you wanna make ads for your business, again, this is probably for you too. And they make it easy. This is literally foolproof. So I don't know, I'll leave this up to you guys. I went ahead and showed you all the main features of this website. There's a lot to cover here and I'm sure I missed some of the fine details. I just wanted to get this out there to show you guys why I like the website and uh, to answer your question, is it legit? And I think the short answer is uh, most definitely. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.